Hi everyone, I feel like I need to make another video as I am actually experimenting with this new app Meshcapade. Look into this as I think it has huge potential. So I'll just start off from their website. We basically have all the main information on the site. You can click try for free, sign up, and that'll take you to the main page which is their beta and that's the version 2.8.4. So the API documentation is here. You can read about this. I am gonna look into this as well. And then you can find their info on their website. It's pretty organized, but I am now in the editor. So I am at me.meshcapate.com forward slash vault. I'm gonna be basically in the beta section so when you click here you, you can see that you can access all the other external links here but i'm just going to click here and then under vault you can see that i can edit my animations or create them from photo is where you would upload a photo from scan and mocha pay so i am experimenting with each tab and learning as i go but i'm just going to go into editor first so I've already been playing around with this and I'm very familiar with their tools now that they have set up in this section called editor. So you can either choose female, so it'll give you a generic female uh, sort of shape. You can explore the poses here from A, T, U to W. I'm going to switch to male and I'm going to go back to animations. So under animations and these two upper tabs switch you to textures. So it'll load some other additional meshes that they built and they have some textures on it. Going back to animation, I am going to choose motion. And I basically also under textures want to go back to the default character, hitting the animation, motions. I am going to load in one of the motions that I've already created. So creating the motion is really from text. Uh, you can click on here, how does this work? And it will basically take you into another section on their website where you can basically read this information, which is like a wiki that they have. And I'll include all these links so you can easily find them. Going back into the editor, you can see that here I can just easily double click on each animation that this program has created for me and it will load those animations in here and you can zoom in and view the details or zoom out and see how the animation looks like so the units are here I'm gonna go into the next phase now the shape again female male and then we also have neutral so I'm gonna leave it at male for now okay so you do have uh, two sections here. One is basic and the other one is experimental. So this is basically uh, additional things that they have added and I'm sure they're still working on it. But for now, I'm going to click on basic. So here I can basically adjust the height of the character, the weight of the character. And you can see how these other attributes as I'm moving them are moving according to that. So it's probably setting some form of default so they all work and it's not out of whack. And this is really impressive, okay? Being able to do this in real time uh, is very impressive. Okay, so these are the simple tools and attributes that you can change on the fly. So if you wanna reset it, you can just hit here and it will basically reset this. And then you can also show measurements and this will basically show you that. And I'm gonna turn that off for now and then go into experimental. So here, I am gonna go back to my idle pose and going into experimental, you can see that I am changing additional attributes now and it shows me exactly how that's affecting and where it's affecting it. Lower arms. Uh, this is really cool, very cool character. The neck, made a little longer here. 
uh, these are some really interesting deformations so um here i'm going to change it a little bit more to my liking that kind of looks cool so i'm just checking everything and seeing some of the seams and i just want to adjust it to and you can see there's a warning that comes up you can always just hit reset if you're getting that error in here okay so let's leave it at that and i'm going to call this um new so i'm going to save this now and call it idle zombie maybe so i'm going to create it and it's going to show me exactly how many credits it's going to take and it's showing me the total of credits that i have so i create avatar and this is going to take a while while it's basically creating this and it's going to add that to my vault okay so now as you can see here it is so i can switch to show you guys this was the sitting one here's the idol and now the character is basically set to this particular body formation or deformation so to say okay i'll leave it at idle and i already saved this file and now i'm going to uh want to download it okay so now let's go into photo uh in the photo mode i am going to drag and drop a photo so that could be any any photo that you have in this case i am just uploading this photo and it says what should we call this avatar i'm going to call this soldier pose 01 you can either do the loose fitting or tight fitting in this case i'm just going to leave it at this create avatar okay so once it's done again you can click here if you like that will basically take it to the vault the vault is kind of like your library so all all the assets you're creating all the creations you have are basically going to be saved in here and then you can simply double click on them and it will also open up a pop-up window and show you that animation as you can see here's another one and again this song this is going on the web so this is like really really impressive okay so now as you can see it's somewhat added this in here so i'm just going to click on this and i can make further adjustments eventually in unreal engine let's go into scans this is something that i'm going to try next and make a video so you can basically take your scans and turn them into animations and the other option is video and i've already tried this so if i go into my vault i've actually utilized one of the animations or video files that they've had and it's here and as you can see for work in progress and a beta this is looking very very good it has huge potential okay so i'm going to go into my vault and now i am going to show you how to export it so once you like the animation that you have uh you obviously already uh saved it so i just want to show you guys how to create another animation so i'll basically um just come in here and as you can see there is already some things that will come up but i will do to keep this really simple let's start with a walk cycle and imagine this in six months to a year i'm sure this is going to expand you're going to be able to create pretty much a lot of different animations that are very hard in this case for me again as a creative i want to be able to create these and get to them go into unreal engine and start using them and utilizing them and save time and money okay so i'll just double click on a walk cycle now you can see that it's assigned it to my character 
Here's another one. It's kind of moving around. And I'm just really looking for one that it may work for me this time. I like this one. This is really good. So I am going to save this as two. Okay, now it's basically creating that character avatar, the animation, and idle zombie. Here it is. And now I can download it and I will export this into Unreal as an FVX file. Uh, it's going to take a while, so I'll let it do its thing. And in the meantime, I will be switching to Unreal. So here, I basically put together some of these animations. I'll get rid of this guy for now, and I'll hit play and show you guys, again, the quality of these animations. So here's one that's idle. If I need to populate my scene with characters and especially have some form of no motion, uh, this would be awesome. So here it is. I'll zoom into the character so you guys can see. I've noticed that the feet in the beginning are actually on the ground and then it kind of changes to a different height as you can see. So I put an additional piece of geometry just to kind of test that. But these are adjustments that can be fixed and especially if you're using this for crowd simulations or any kind of um, detail that you need far away, no one's gonna see that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the idle. Here's the idle pose. And then I create another walk cycle. I think I already shared this on my um, other video, but you can see that here we have a pretty good animation of him walking around. Okay. There are a lot of things, of course, that we could sit and, you know, criticize all day, but that's not my goal here. My goal is to learn and find out new applications and also find a way to integrate them into my workflow to make things easier so I can focus more on creative work than tedious work. So here, I think um, these could work for sure. So I'm gonna go and look now into the other file that I've had. See, it's still going. I mean, it takes a little while for these to be downloaded, but now I think it's uh, it's going to download. So it's coming in. So I will bring this in. In the meantime, let's try a couple more. run cycle I mean these are always like important things so I'll see what kind of uh, animation it's going to create and again I'm also new to this uh, app and I just I'm using it for the third time but uh, you know it's not that hard to use I think the UI uh, can certainly improve but for their beta knowing that this is a beta uh, I like this a lot, and I know I've been using Mixamo, but I, I find this as a new um, solution for myself as an artist and a creative to quickly uh, visualize these things for both personal and commercial projects. So I'm going to double click on these guys, and now we can basically look at a run cycle here. And I am going to... Let's see here, my basics, experimental. I'm gonna reset it. I'm just comparing some of the other things that I've done. This was the sitting one. Okay, so one thing that I've noticed is that now it actually got rid of that animation run cycle. So it looks like I have to redo it if I was to get out of the uh, editor so that's one thing to remember maybe it would have been oh my motions okay let's see if it oh it didn't save okay so that means that I need to save that so it will show up in my motions again let's see run cycle I'm just gonna compare them real quick it's a slower a little faster 
Okay, I think this looks really natural here. I'm also looking at the hand motion. Yeah, this looks really good. So now what we need to do is save it. And I'm going to call this... Uh, I actually misspelled it here. Uh, run cycle. And this would be the first one. So I'll create this avatar. And in the meantime, uh, the file is downloading, which I'll bring into Unreal once it's uh, downloaded. So here, I'll also go ahead and download this one for Unreal. Download. I've also noticed that obviously when you're using the default one, um, I end up making way too many adjustments and obviously it's warning you. And as you can see, when I am using the default character, some of these animations look a lot more natural and they look a lot better. Again, this is a beta. I mean, give it another six months or a year. I'm sure this team is going to advance it. And in my opinion, what would be really cool is, I mean, imagine if you basically had this text field a lot more advanced like ChatGPT, where I would be able to actually freeze this frame. I mean, I would love to get on the beta with these guys, but let's say you like this animation, right? And you wanna be able to uh, make some changes. So I could basically say, uh, save animation or freeze uh, animation and then I could go in and say you know left hand is doing this or you know give additional uh, information to this animation that it would start basically updating and making tweaks so that way I can actually save one and advance it without even you know doing anything manually but it would be basically updating from this text right or I could merge, like maybe right click and merge this and paste it here into hands and arms. I mean, this could, this this has so much potential and, and I'm just really excited on all the things that I could possibly uh, create with this stuff. Okay, so let's go into Unreal. Okay, so I'm back in Unreal Engine and I am just going to uh, create couple more things here uh, for example I created the T pose um, you know you can you can easily do that obviously but let me just go into my animations folder and I'm just gonna double click and show you guys that this is their model and the rig obviously we can make adjustments and we can start uh, animating this as well uh, and everything is in here uh, and it's pretty pretty impressive so the fact that I can export this model, bring it into Unreal Engine, and utilize it make, makes a huge difference for me. So I'm just gonna drag and drop them from my desktop in this case. Okay, let's get the idle zombie too. Okay, so here it is. And I'm gonna put this character in here. Uh, so this is the idle zombie and I'm gonna hit play and let's test it Okay, that looks really good and now I am going to uh, Include the animation. I Just want to make sure that I get the feet down here just a little bit. Let me turn this off Just bring him down to the ground Hit play. Let's see now what that looks like. Okay, so he's going around pretty, pretty far. So what I'll do is bring him actually down here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And I'm going to go in and take a look at the other ones. Walk animation. That's the idol that I've had. 
Alright, so I just want to make sure, since I actually, this is their default model, and as you can see here, I have the uh, deformations that I've added to the body, right? I just want to make sure that plays. Let's see. Yes, as you can see, it is, but for some reason it's switching back to, I just want to make sure, let me actually put them next to each other so I can compare them. Yes. It is actually working and this is pretty amazing. So let me go here. Yes, as you can see, the changes that I did to the body is actually working as an animation. So he looks a little taller. I obviously need to experiment. This is only my third time using this. Uh, but you can see that I can have a lot of different animations, just some motion in a file that I'm creating and hopefully you guys find this useful. I mean, again, like I said, this is uh, still something that I am looking into. And I want to basically create as many animations as possible. And what I'll do is I will build this file for Windows. And if you guys want to, I'll go ahead and package this. And I'll include a download link so you guys can test these yourself. And I'll upload a .exe file playable. Uh, on my Gamera page so you guys can uh, take a look and see for yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll be making more videos and check them out again at meshkapate.com. And again, this is a company out of Germany. I mean, I basically uh, think this has really, really good potential. Uh, I will include the link to their website as well. Check them out. Das finde ich echt toll. Tschüss. See you guys. Okay, once you guys download it off my Gumroad, you'll see the exe file here. Just double click on it. And that'll open up the player. And now you guys can actually go ahead and play this uh, small little map and see the quality for yourself.